I've changed the shop internally many, many different times over the years. And, of course, starting with YouTube, I started showing y'all some of the changes as we went along. And today we are at the point where we have an entire city in the shop of shelving. Now, we do a Saturday morning live. A lot of y'all know that, but those of you who don't join in on Saturday mornings, if you're able to, between 11 and 1 Central Standard Time. And a couple of years ago, or a year and a half ago, whenever this got put in, uh, there used to be a table with with a short hand custom built table using like drill stand uh, legs. And uh, then we pulled it out and then put the plastic shelving here. I got flamed big time for the plastic shelving, rightfully so. It finally got moved out when we built the very first actual new style metal shelving and our lock force members named it. I can't remember who was ultimately originally responsible for the name. Nakitoma Plaza. Nakitoma Plaza is the OG of shelving, which of course led to several other shelving builds, some of which we actually did on Saturday Morning Live, some of which I've done actual different videos on, but today I'm going to begin, actually I guess last week I began because I bought the shelf last week, but I'm going to begin on the process of building another Nakitoma. So just as a refresher, we're going to go through the other Nakitoma plazas. One. OG Nakitoma Plaza 2. It's Kim's. I don't like it because it's got thin shelving wood fake MDF whatever you want to call that. So I gave that to Kim. I still kind of kept it a little bit of it but she hadn't really done anything with it. I was nice enough to build her Nakitoma Plaza 2. And she doesn't really... She doesn't really mess with it at all. Which I, I don't blame her, but... I, I've given her... Like five beautiful shells here and... <sighs> Nakitoma Plaza 3. Y'all might remember this one. I had to rivet it because... It didn't come with... With little sleeve things to connect these two that just relied on balance and I thought that was ridiculous so I spent an extra hour drilling holes and putting the rivets in to make sure it stayed steady it does have the wire shell I only got this one because I needed a three foot one instead of a four foot one well I thought I only needed a three foot one in hindsight I probably should have gotten a four foot but I also only needed it to be a certain width so we were forced to use this guy. And I'll never make that mistake again. However, sitting here, there's a lot of weight in the middle of this. And as I'm sitting here, to me, it looks like it's curved in. Which I don't blame it. There really is a lot of weight right there. So I'll probably need to redistribute. But Nakitoma Plaza 3, which is pretty much the eBay workshop. We ended, or so I thought, with Nakitoma Plaza 4. That's right, we went to a tubular design to fit into the space that I needed it to fit into. And this by far was the more challenging of all of the builds because of course we have the TV, we have wiring, and I had to cut the length of the post and we had to floor it. And y'all actually all saw the video. This was by far the worst one up until now. But then last week, I went to the store and I saw this sitting on the shelf and I was like, Jason, that's not true. I went there looking for this and I said to myself, Jason, it's time. Nay, it's not time, it's past time. Nay, it's not just past time, it is overly past time for you to tend to the back room. That's right the back room. The room that many 
fear, the room that Kim would not even come into if it wasn't for the fact that the refrigerator was right there with the half and half for her coffee. The room that even I am frightened to come into because over the years of me shuffling stuff around the shop and deciding what needed to be kept ready at hand and what needed to be put into back storage, I've ignored the fact that this is the real area in the shop that needs the most attention. Therefore, we have begun the process of putting in the red district, red light. I keep wanting to say red light district, but you know what I mean. The red district of shelving. And we're going to start four foot at a time because I didn't want to buy the six foot long shelf because it's hard to explain, but the beams are a little bit thicker and chunkier and I don't, maybe heavier duty, but I don't really necessarily need heaviest duty back here. I just need updated shelving because this is, while it does have pegboard, which I'm gonna leave, it's wildly inefficient. The shelving itself is literal peg hooks with a loose board. Product boxes, everything on this one shelf that's about 12 foot long, 10 foot long, we'll see in a minute could be condensed down into one of uh, Nakitoma. So we are putting in Nakitoma Plaza 5, the red district, and 6, and maybe 7, but probably just 5 and 6. Wish me luck, y'all. I'm going to need it. Technically 132, but we're gonna say 120 because I need a little bit of room on the end and I'm not going all the way to the end. So technically more like 108. But we're gonna we're gonna go 120 because that's easier to know. That's 10 foot, right? That's two four foot Nakitomas which will actually just give us eight feet, which is just about right. So let's get started. The only real problem, as always, when building a new Nakitoma Plaza is what to do with all the stuff while you're actually clearing an area to put in Nakitoma Plaza. And that is one of the problems that I'm about to have. Not really, maybe a little. A lot of the space again is underutilized. So what I'm about to do, I don't know what I'm about to do. This is the thinking part of this. I'm gonna overutilize this area by moving all this just down temporarily so that I can go ahead and start cutting in this cutting that out which it's leaning anyway so I'm gonna have to probably you know I've got like power running through here so that's a problem and in fact I've got a plug and a light switch down here that, that doesn't work and then I'm gonna have to take this down and and then everything on the ground here will have to move out of the way, which is a lot of heavy stuff, like old mortise lock parts and old, old rim locks, you know, stuff you just don't need a, to get a hold of a lot, but still need it. 
and then of course all these latches which i guess i'll just have to come down and be put in a box so yeah that's what you're about to see oh nakitoma plaza fire. Something fell. I don't even know what's in this box. There's something in this box up here. I don't know what it is. Oh, uh, what the heck is that? <laughs> and, well, look at that old HPC box. All right, so uh, we get to do, hey, what's up? I've uh, never been up here. I'm gonna have to disconnect this guy. And uh, drop it, but it's the end of the day right now. So, uh, so this is the last thing I'm gonna do today. This is, I was wondering why it was leaning. And, uh, and it's coming loose from its moorings here. Look at this. That, that I think used to be, uh, hammered in. And, uh, oh, I gotta, I gotta get all this down too. Oh, that's a big old plastic split container, isn't it? Don't hit the light. Don't hit the light. Don't go to the light. <sighs> I'm gonna go ahead and rip this whole thing down, which means I gotta uh, I gotta unnail these boxes because I know they're powered up. And uh, this is my alarm transformer. This probably needs to be relocated a little bit, but. Look at this. We were about to lose. We were about to lose this whole rigged up <clears throat> apparatus here. I gotta get that down, but for right now, that's uh that's what I got. And uh tomorrow I guess will be destruction day. Yay! Yay! So see you then. Day two. Actually, I've got to change my shirt because I don't want it to get dirty because it's first thing in the morning and I'm going to put up all the various tablecloths and coverings that we have for different events into the plastic bin. Put this up. Uh, yeah, that's just some old mortise lock parts. And it obviously needs its own box. See, I've got my testers out because we have to test uh we have to put them on these plugs because i'm gonna have to pull these plugs down and i found an old rotary hopper i don't know how long that's been here for i guess i never paid much attention to it uh and then like i said again we're gonna go ahead and cut it on that line so that we have this little shelf in the meantime and then whatever i re 
reclaim from this area once I tear it out will be rebuilt. I'm going to leave one little actual shelf, but I'm going to have to rebuild the leg further over. <sighs> but yeah, it's time this morning for at least this top part to go. I do have appointments today, so I've got like about an hour to do this right now. I'm going to leave and then this afternoon come back and have maybe another hour or two to uh to knock it out so let's see how far we get uh now Hey, brand new tap. Sweet. All right, y'all. I figured out which uh, socket made these guys tick. So now I've got to, I've got to hammer out these. This is very flimsy. <laughs> this is a very flimsy uh, shelf when I'm standing on it. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to undo all of this to, uh, to go ahead and knock this thing out. So, that's where we're at now. Can't get to that one.
Now I can get to it. All right, for right now, I'm going to go ahead and just denail as much of these as I can. Y'all know how that works, just banging the heck out of the nails. You're going to have to rewire that plug because that's on our alarm circuit, and that's getting pretty sketchy looking. So I'm going to rewire that. Those I'm just going to keep out of the way. I don't think I'm going to actually... I don't, I don't know how I'm going to work this yet. I may pull down the pegboard and uh it's in pretty rough shape and there's a if i pull down the pegboard i'm gonna have to take out all these face plates and lights and stuff um once i put the shelf in front of it though i could still maybe use the pegboard. i don't know but also also we have the whole problem right here of how this guy is built so um uh, I may actually have to pull the pegboard to be able to get to get this apart because it's probably just going to tear up the bottom anyway. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. But uh, anyway, I got to go to real work now after I take out all these nails. Hey, nails all out and uh, all over the floor. But that's probably the least of the mess that we're gonna cause. Might as well keep all this over here and uh, time to go to work now. Sheesh.
Okay, my plan to leave this has backfired in that it's fallen over. And there's actually quite a bit of weight in there, so I'm gonna have to, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to get that out of there. Uh, and there's actually a bunch of glass, too. Don't ask. So, uh, yeah. Ah, <sighs> shoot. I wasn't planning on doing that, but I guess I have to now. Okay, end of day two, and look where we've gotten. I've never, no, I can't say I've never done it, but I've got, I've, I haven't, it's been a while since I've yanked that many nails out of wood. Uh, so, yeah, here we go. We got the, uh, got this guy. That's, uh, that's one of our important plugs. I had to cut the conduit, move it up, put a new uh, electrical plug in, and then I've got two here that I got to mount. Uh, I'm not overly concerned about that yet. Um, I don't know exactly if I'm just gonna cap those off maybe or what, but uh, I don't know. It's probably a good idea to actually do that before I build the shelf that will be in the way. Yeah, so I guess tomorrow morning when I come in, Actually, I can't do it in the morning because tomorrow I've got uh, I've got appointments all through the day. So maybe tomorrow night, tomorrow evening before I leave, I uh, will sort those out. Uh, but right now, I'm just going to sweep this up and get out of here for the day because I'm tired of beating up wood. But yeah, that floor hadn't seen the light of that in quite a while. Now it's time to do a whole bunch of wiring. Uh, and I actually pulled everything out from this to this to this to this and removed one plug, left one, put in a new, you know, little doodad. I don't need two up here, I don't think. Uh, but the only one I hadn't done is this one. I'm not gonna do that one until I start doing this cabinet. I might do, and that goes down there. That comes out of there and then goes down to there. I might find out when I when I pull this. And then this one is totally dead, so uh yeah. I don't know what's going on there, but I may instead of doing that, I may actually take out this switched uh plug right here and then go. I don't know. In the meantime, I'm gonna sweep up one more time and pull up Naki Toma five and i was at home depot buying a whole bunch of switches or receptacles and i noticed that uh that nakitoma got more expensive i bought the first five on sale and now they're 20 more dollars so man i hate it when that happens it just makes me irritated i guess i'll just keep an eye out for when uh when they go on sale again and hope it's within 90 days that was just dumb i should have bought both of them but I still don't know if I have room.
Hey, <laughs> I, I found my mallet. Happy Friday. Uh, yet another day. I'm going to go ahead and knock this out today if I can remember how these things go together properly. Uh, okay, okay. And then put the things up and then beep, beep. And then, and then that's it. Uh, so, there we go. Building Nakatomi 5. And I found out yesterday, I went to the Go Get 6. I bought that one on sale for $109. They're back to $129. So I'm a little bit irritated about that. But I still don't know whether I need two or not. I could use two, of course. I just don't know if it's going to be too much back here. Because it's going to stick out a little bit further than the uh, other shelf did. Uh, but Pete gave me a good idea. I could buy Red Rolly Thing 3.0 or even two of those. And maybe put them back here. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, time to get to building. <laughs> I instantly don't like it. Such is the case when you build stuff like this. You never know what it's going to look like or how much. Yeah. Oh, man. I'll never find that now. You never know how much surface area shelves are going to take up until you build them. Right, you can measure all day long, and uh, 50, 53 thousand times, and still nothing, nothing quite. I guess it's the 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 cubic volume of it or something. Oh, are we gonna be able to find you? Oh shoot! Where are you? You dropped. Oh, right there. Okay, don't go anywhere. All right, it's just the sheer the volume of it you can't you can't measure volume very well and until it gets up in the way <laughs> yeah i don't realize how uh how i should have gone i should have gone three foot yeah all right uh not 24 inches deep but 18 inches deep i should have gone two three foot sections because because even if i move it up some I mean, it's right there with it. I guess it's just so, I guess, imposing. I don't know how to, I don't know how to say it. But let me move all the uh, test bins. I always use test bins, y'all, to make sure that you have room for stuff to slide in and out. And uh, room for what you need it for. So that's perfect for that. And then we've got a super wide shelf here uh, that actually could probably hold many shelves in them. Once we find the red, this was just a test. Yeah. For this guy on the bottom. Yeah. Because I would be loading heavy stuff on the bottom. I don't really need to attach it to the wall. It's wide enough and it's going to be weighted enough to the back that I don't need that. But I am for now going to go ahead and just push it down. I think I'm only going to go with one of these, y'all. There may not be a Nakitoma 6. That's sad, but that means we definitely are getting a Red Rolly thing 3.0 if Harbor Freight would actually have one in stock when I went. Ah. Alrighty, y'all. It has been about a week and a half since I've got this erected, uh, and I've got this space right here. I'm not probably ever going to add another one. I say ever, but I'm not going to add another one on this wall because... A, I like this open space to stack bigger things and the ladder whenever I put it over here. Uh, and I had ended up, instead of putting another one in here, I just tiered the shelf. I took the old shelf that was here, cut it, and moved it up there. And I've got like panic bars back there going lengthwise. It ended up being four foot wide, which is just long enough for panic bars. That's empty. This has tool bags in it. This has uh, tablecloths in it folded up. So I could actually 
squeeze in even more stuff up there but i'm at, at this point in time i'm not real concerned about it i'm using this area here to both clean up the floor get all the boxes off the floor finally onto the shelves so that i can actually clean up the floor and i'm using this as kind of a staging area right now you can see i'm in the middle of getting these handle sets re-wrapped up and boxed up but yeah i think we are good i think we are good on naki tomas i said that last time i say it this time i say it every time but i really think i mean it this time because even though it's not really a district it's just one and we have no red light i think it's just i think it's good i think it's good to go so anyway thanks for watching y'all in the meantime i will be moving stuff from here to here whenever i have spare few minutes to do so and yeah I, I we need to we had the roof replaced and i had a leak for a while so i got to get up there with plaster and uh reseal that and then repaint it but that's just visual so anyway that's it nakitoma five better than it was